We begin with breaking news. San Diego County issued cease and desist orders to eight locations in the college area, which it believes were planning to hold huge parties this Halloween weekend amid the pandemic. Our ABC 10 News reporter Anthony Pura has been talking to students who got the order and is now live with how they're responding on this. Anthony. That's right, Steve and Kimberly. Let me tell you, though, that San Diego State does have a stay at home advisory in place through the Halloween weekend. They were worried about large gatherings this weekend because of the pandemic. Now the county believes, as you mentioned, that there were eight addresses here in the college area that were going to have large gatherings this weekend. And tonight they served those cease and desist notices at those eight locations. I want to show you some video now taken just a short while ago. We saw a crew from the county serve one of these notices here at a home on Dorothy Drive. They stuck a post to the ground with the notice attached to it. Now, according to the county, they put these notices at homes that they believe were planning to throw parties this Halloween weekend. They learned of many of them through social media. Now, we spoke with students that live at some of those addresses. They told us they had no idea why they were getting served. These cease and desist notices saying they weren't planning to have any gatherings or parties this weekend. Where this information came from, but it's it's all completely false and you guys feel free to take videos all night long but there will not be people coming in, in and out of this house it's just like the six of us and then maybe like five of our friends come over which technically san diego county allows up to three households yeah. to have Now the county did release a statement through Dr. Wilma Wooten saying that we were compelled to take this action because there is a great deal at stake. Let me be very clear, the region's livelihood hangs in the balance and is directly tied to our individual and collective actions. We are on the brink of moving to a more restrictive tier. SDSU also issued a statement saying that SDSU is in fully supportive of the cease and desist order Dr. Wilma J. Wooten issued to the region's higher education community. Students should not be hosting or attending parties and should not be attending any in-person gathering that is not in compliance with public health directives. Now, failure to comply may result in a criminal misdemeanor and up to $1,000 fine for each violation. We are reporting live tonight. Anthony Pura, ABC 10 News.